Question 1.2.1. It reads, write a fraction to represent the shaded part of each drawing. Drawing A is basically grade 4 style and B is going to be grade 5 style. Either way, the question has been asked on a grade 5 paper and so I'm going to explain it to you. The secret to all fractions is that every part must be exactly equal. If it is not equal, then it is not a fraction. And what I mean by that is if I had to draw a drawing like that, I'm drawing a pie and I cut it into four, that would be a fraction. It's not a very good drawing, but I'm trying to show you. And if I did the same drawing, but I stuck one line up at the top and the other one down. These pieces are more like fractions. These are very different, therefore this is not a fraction. So you must keep that in mind when answering this question. Now before you go any further, we have to now write the fraction of the shaded part. The first thing you do is you pretend that there's absolutely no colour in the drawing and you count every block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is your denominator. How many parts the drawing has been broken up into. Now you go and you count the part that is shaded and that's quite simple. One, two, three, four. So the shaded part of that drawing, of drawing A, is four twelfths. Now this drawing, if we look, something is not quite right. It is a trick question. The rule is, is that when we are comparing fractions or working with fractions, every shape has to be exactly the same size. Now if you look at this one here, this one is smaller than its neighbours. So in order to solve that, we extend the line. And I've made some more um, smaller squares. I extend the line. And I've made a few more. And now I've made it more like a fraction that we can work with. Immediately, you pretend that there is no colour in the drawing and you count all the little rectangles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is your denominator. Go back to the drawing and now count the shaded part. One, two, three, four, Five. That means the shading of this drawing is 5 twelfths. And yes, it was a trick question. Now question 1.2.2 is referring to these two drawings. It says, say which one, drawing A or drawing B, can show the equivalent fraction to a third. The word equivalent refers to fractions that are equal, and it comes from the word equal, as the word equivalent started off with the word equal. So, take your both fractions and write them down. Now, what I do is I simplify the fractions. And how I simplify the fractions is like this. I write down the factor pairs of the numerator. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Now I write down the factor pairs of 12. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. And 3 times 4 is 12. Which number shows up in both top and bottom and the highest? 1's, okay, they're not going to change anything. 2, and then you've got 4's. You pick the highest one because you want to simplify the fraction as quickly as possible. 
and they must match. Top and bottom must match. That means you're going to divide this fraction by 4, the number that you circled, and 4 divided by 4 equals 1, 12 divided by 4 is 3. I'm going to do this one just for argument's sake, just to prove my point. Okay? 1 times 5 is 5. Nothing else times 5 can give you 5. Therefore, that is all the factor pairs that can belong to 5. It's a prime number. The factor pairs here of 12 is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. No number is the same. Remember I said to you 1 does not count, so take it out. Okay? There is no matching, therefore this fraction cannot be simplified any further, whereas 4 twelfths can be simplified to a third. So if we go back to the question, it says which one, A or B, of the drawings show the fraction is equivalent to 1 third, and it will be drawing A. Because 4 over 12 is equal to 1 third. I hope that helped, and I hope you saw this tricky one and how to solve it. I will come up with a few more, and I shall post them on YouTube. Good luck, and uh, I'll see you in my next tutorial.